Okay, now we're going to tackle the dangling participle. A participle is the form of the verb that has ing on the end of it. And when you begin a sentence with a participle, that phrase has to modify the subject of the sentence. For instance, looking up, I noticed I was late. That's an example of a well-formed sentence using a participle, looking up, that modifies the subject of the sentence, I. I'm going back to this excellent article by Reeves Weidemann about Simone Biles. Reeves wrote a few sentences, as writers sometimes do, with dangling participles, and in each case, he fixed it a different way. First, here's the way the sentence was originally written. Seeing Biles next to her competition at Pacific Rims, it seemed as if Isaac Newton had written a different set of laws on her behalf. The problem with it is that it is not what is seeing Biles. So, in the magazine, this came out. Seeing Biles next to her competition at Pacific Rims, I felt as if Isaac Newton had written a different set of laws on her behalf. The author and the editor changed the subject to I, I being who was seeing Biles. On the same page, there's another example of a dangler. Spending time with Biles, it became clear that her intense focus on the beam was more forced than the giggling. It was the same problem. Spending time with Biles is a participial phrase, and it should modify the subject. And again, the subject is, it became clear. But in this case, they fixed it a different way. The editor and the author decided they would change the participial phrase. And the sentence in the magazine reads, After I spent time with Biles, it became clear. So, you see, the other half of the sentence was fixed. The participial phrase was turned into an introductory clause with its own verb. After I spent time with Biles. I want to thank Reeves for providing such excellent examples, and we wish Simone Biles all the luck in the world at the Summer Olympics in Rio.